so the the water comes down from there right on top there is quarrying is happening there far end you can see some small rubble piles then all that water washes down and then the, it gathers at the bottom here and then uh, there is a small stream this is all rain water that's all then uh, it comes down and then there is a valley little widening is there and here this uh, that jaijan that big mimosa is there and then uh, kind of riverine plants are started occurring here in this area and uh, these places that is this boggy kind of places marshy places they have very fertile soil because the washing down of that upstream areas and all comes and gathers here and uh, some one or two nice species i saw here for the first time one of which is this one this member of that mimosa family that is a uh, huge in every way it is like mimosa pudica except that the it's a big thorny shrubby type of climber and uh, occurring in the riverine places at the edge of this bog so that is there and then the water comes down here the other day i had done a video on this bog so here the what the soil is very very fertile it jet black and perpetually it is moist so normally this kind of places are drained and the edges they make some uh, some arrangement for the water to flow out and then when the water level recedes that jet black soil is there and it's moist also so it's a good place for rice cultivation so this whole thing is a bog area and then it it flows over and there it, that streams that pond starts at the edge of a pond there's a boggy place also so catchment that upstream catchment area is this hilly places when it enters the flatter places the rain water gathers and becomes a seasonal stream it might have been perennial at one time before the forest and all got destroyed anyway now it is seasonal so after the seasonal stream the land flattens out and then uh, this boggy place is formed so like this the water is perpetually staying here it's always moist and the soil also is clay and soft and squishy in certain aquatic plants are occurring this also is a good habitat for crabs and shrimps then you cross over there's a place where this water gets into the into the pond and at the edge of the pond where the water enters the pond there is a marshy area that is high amount of greenery along with a quite nutritious soil and then uh, more water than that bog so these marshes tend to have some 1 feet of water and here uh, this juicy succulent type of grasses and all are grow, grow here 
this is a good habitat for certain types of fish we don't like fast flowing waters and lot they like lot of green foliage and all they occur in these kind of places then further up the tank is there and then it overflows from there and then it starts the into the cultivated areas 